fish me hurt. God damn, I look scruffy today. <laughs> today we're doing probably the most uninspired <laughs> video idea of all time. I'm going through my Instagram account. I don't care. I'm genuinely curious. What's at the bottom? I scrolled all the way. Taking the time back to... This is my first photo. December 6, 2011! God damn! That's so cute. Look at that. See, aren't you glad? That's adorable. People are still commenting on this. You guys scroll down on people's Instagram? Well, you got nothing better to do. I haven't done this in... I can't even remember. I'm glad this is my first photo. That's very cute. This was in Sweden in a small little Thai restaurant. And we thought, hey, let's do a selfie kiss. And there it is. Adorable. Here's a selfie of me. Everything is finally ready. Moving to Italy today. Oh my god, yeah. That was crazy. Can't believe how many times I've moved country. Insane. I went to Germany. I don't remember going to Germany. Oh! Right, I had my conference presentation, that's right. Then I went back to Sweden to do dream hack. Good photo there, Felix. Very crisp, very clear. This is from the stage. Sai, pull on the alerts. It's epic gamer announcement time. I can finally show you what some of you guys have already noticed, which is the greatest keyboard of all time. Hell yeah, PewDiePie keyboard. Say it with me, PewDiePie keyboard. Honestly, it's just, it's great. I'm so proud of this. Aluminum framing, it's heavy, it feels sturdy, it's good. But the best part about it is not the impeccable gaming design. It's the click clack noise. Listen to this. Yeah. Yeah, you know you want one. It feels good. Don't call yourself a gamer unless you got texturized WSD buttons. Wave design throughout. RGB colors lit up. Oh! I didn't even mention, it's wireless with Bluetooth 5. That's right, I can type over here. I'm typing right now. Bluetooth 5, baby. I assume that's better than Bluetooth 4. But wait, PewDiePie, you can't just launch the most epic keyboard of all time without, of course, the most epic gamer mouse of all time. Hell yeah. Look at this bad boy. You see that? That's a bro fist. Hell yeah. That's detail. Each product will be hand kissed. That's a lie, but they said they couldn't do it. I don't know if you guys have tried these type of mouse before where they have the dotted to make it lighter. I was a bit skeptical, I'm not gonna lie, but I can't even imagine going back to a regular one now because it's so comfortable. The way it's so light actually makes a difference. I do really like it, even though it's like, oh, gamer. It is good. I love it. It looks cool too. Hey, you ain't never seen a mouse like this before. It looks great. I'm super proud of these products, so if you want to check out yours, check out the link in the description. But, we also have a special offer. 13% off, right now, if you enter the code PEWDIEPIE! You have to enter it aggressively though, otherwise it doesn't work. On checkout, 13% off, you're welcome. But wait, there was more. First 500 to order the limited case edition. That's right, if you buy the pack, or both of these fits in. You see, I have number one. Because I am number one. You get one of these collector's edition, call it what you want, cases. It'll be shipped like this, basically. You'll get it like you can put it in. Now that's nice. It's like a glove. Look at that. I'm typing right now. Can't stop me. We ship to over 100 countries worldwide, so wherever you are, as long as you're within those 100 countries, you're good to go. It's pre-order, but we're shipping as early as November 26th. So, great gift for Christmas, basically. I'm just happy I finally have my setup complete. Feels good, man. So what are you waiting for? Check out ghostkeyboards.com slash PewDiePie. Link is in the description. Super cool. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 2012, dude. These are all grown up now. Damn, that was crazy. Oh my, uh, oh, she looks so tiny and cute. <sighs> this is before Maya started hating me. She will not go near me now, but I guess she stayed next to me. Oh my, oh, oh my heart. <laughs> this is from an airplane, actually. We brought her on the airplane. <laughs> All right, so now we're in Italy. This is Maritza's first car. 
A really cool first car, but goddamn, it goes slow. <laughs> and no air conditioning. Mark saying her gigantic car, it's 40 degrees. Yeah, Italy gets hot. Dude, I remember all of these moments. We went to buy ice cream. So good, gelato. The base, it's the base. This video feels like, you know, when other people show you their dog and you're like, oh, that's so cute. I don't care, she's adorable. Look at her. Oh man, I took a lot of photos of these. This is uh, going through the 50, 51 galleries or something. Whatever, how you say 52, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the road the army went through, the Italian army, through the Alps or the mountains, sorry. A masterpiece of military engineering and boldness. So you go through 51 caves, basically. It was amazing, incredible. I would love to do that again. The views and everything, it was amazing. So all the military walked through these tiny little caves. That's crazy. I think me and Marcia had to go back to long distance just for a little while. This, I remember this was really the time where I was really anxious because we didn't have... We obviously came from two different countries and I didn't have enough money to really come and visit. So I was really hoping YouTube would work out <laughs> so I could see my girlfriend or my future wife. Back in Sweden. Damn, I look different. God damn. This is my daddy, Jürgen Klopp, of course, and Ink. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe we took a photo like that. <laughs> Damn, Instagram filters were different back in the day, man. Bruh. What even is this? Oh yeah, some random guy just jumped in in the photo. <laughs> oh yeah, we went to Venice. Dude, I look different. Got a little bit of that uh, YouTube chub going on. I like that. Is this France? Yes, I say France. Oh, <laughs> you say France? So sophisticated. It sounds better. Way back when the Sweden guy simping over Italian girl. How could I not? Look at that. And now they're married. This is so fun. Yeah, it's Paris. Paris is very pretty. Just don't look too close. <laughs> like, this place is gorgeous, but it's filled with tourist traps. Why did he travel so much in 2012? I don't know. Missed my old haircut. Should I go back, guys? Is it time? Thanks, Marcia. Some things never change. She loves to make me ugly. I really appreciate that. <laughs> oh, shit. Singapore. Unbelievable time. Damn, so much happened in 2012-2013. Fuck. That was nuts. What an adventure, dude. Crazy. So, I remember this moment specifically. Because some fans just are never... Their fantasies can never be quenched. First, they, they sneak a photo of you. Okay. Then they come up to you asking for a selfie. It's like, alright. And then they want an autograph. And it's like, God. <laughs> and then they want... Oh, God, is that? Look at my ass, so cute! Oh, What is that demon? What happened there? What the f***? Where is this? This is in Singapore again. That was really cool. Singapore is strange because there's such a... Uh, as a Swede, I never experienced this before. Such a clash between rich and poor. Uh, but both cultures being really great, I would say. Because we went to the hotel and I think we had like a 200 pound dinner or lunch. And then you go outside, literally... 500 uh, meters from the hotel we went to this market with you get the most incredible food for a dollar it was insane yeah this is more from singapore that was in that hotel is insane look at all these photos of my <laughs> he never stops <laughs> oh this is the first photo we ever had of maya this is my setup back in the day Still keeping it ghetto as f not gonna lie. I think we were renting an Airbnb at the time. And and the people tried to like contact my management and say, you need to pay us because you're filming at our location. All you can see is a white fucking background. It's ridiculous. Oculus 2013. I was one of the first to have one. It was so fun. That was crazy. So what's that? Seven years and now they're wireless in another seven years. What's gonna happen? Is this me and Ken? Or is it Jack? I can't tell. I feel it's like a shirt Ken would wear. <laughs> this is in LA. Dude, this is so fun. Apparently this selfie was so good, I had to take two of them. Some artsy photos in here. Yeah, very artsy. I realize as I scroll, this video is gonna take forever. <laughs> yeah, we got Edgar. This is the first of Edgar? Oh. <laughs> My babies. I can't tell. Is this a joke? What's the joke? 
<laughs> the fuck was that carpet? Disgusting. The whole duck meme, you guys remember that? It's me and my sister, they came to London to support me, I was doing a talk show. This is the same room. Six years later. <laughs> a lot has changed. <laughs> so many photos of Edgar sleeping. Oh, he had to get neutered. Oh, 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 poor AG. <laughs> I feel like this is the part where I was still a pure soul. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's so much innocence <laughs> still remaining. <laughs> oh, Edgar, he was a puppy, so he kept chewing on everything. Edgar and his new boyfriend, the printer. For some reason, I did this Photoshop. Oh, what? I haven't seen Got this. It. <laughs> That's crazy. I haven't seen this. This is New Orleans. So pretty. Such a pretty city. Disneyland with Ken and Captain Sparkle. <laughs> oh my god. There it is. Damn. This photo is really crazy story. I think I said it many times, but I was doing South Park. Dream come true, right? They want me to do voice acting for South Park. <laughs> and South Park, the production has an insane work cycle. The way they keep things so relevant is that they work to the day of the launch of the episode. And they decided to do it, make it a two part series. I thought I was only doing one episode and I was flying. I had a trip booked for Japan. So they're like, we need you for to do a couple lines for the next episode. But I'm like, but I'm going on holiday. So I guess I brought I brought my uh, whole equipment just to shoot it in this ryokan, uh, which is this traditional Japanese inn, <laughs> where the walls are literally paper thin, and I had to yell these South Park lines. But on top of that, I got the worst flu of my life. I <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> I couldn't move. I physically couldn't move. So I remember just going out with the, whatever strength I had left, finding the nearest. A shop that sold medicine. I went in and I said, uh, uh, she gave me a bottle. I don't know how many tablets. I don't know how, what for, but I took them and I shot those 10 lines and I shot them live with Trey Parker too. It was on the phone. It was such an insane experience. I'm so glad I had that experience. I hate myself for totally ruining it. I wish I had more confidence back then like I have now, but it's a crazy story. Oh, I was still innocent back here. Not all heroes wear caves while wear headphones. This would be like an ironic meme at, at, in this age. Back in the day, I was like, sweetest damn post ever. <laughs> I'm 14 and this is deep, right? I got sick in Japan again. Amazing. And I liked my own photo. This is where it all went dark. Damn, my, I got fat. God damn, she got fat. Holy shit. My, <laughs> my sister got married. Here's a photo of me. <laughs> the book signings. Can't zoom in on it. I signed 3,000 books. And one of them was a penis. Please, if you have the penis, I would love... I would love to see it. Please post on the Reddit if you have the penis. <laughs> Simp. <laughs> Why are people still commenting on old photos? It's a promo for The Walking Dead. I think it took two hours to get that on. It was pretty crazy. I remember this. This is on the way to shoot Scare PewDiePie. And I posted, we're going to LA. And then when we landed, there was a TMC waiting at the airport because I had posted this photo saying, I'm going to LA. This is during the shoot of Scare PewDiePie. We spent the entire day. I think the shot was delayed. Like they needed to trick me and throw me off. We spent the entire day just shooting fake shots. I'm not even joking. We went all around LA <laughs> just shooting fake shots. It was so weird. I can't explain just how strange that was to realize afterwards. Wait, that was <laughs> all fake. Oh yeah, I met Stephen Colbert. It was really cool. <laughs> promo for my book. Ton of promo for my book. <laughs> I got to work some really cool people for that. I really enjoy that. What a journey, man. I went through so much stuff. This is San Francisco. I mean, I, maybe I'm bad at understanding, but I feel like they didn't explain to me what was about to happen. I had no idea. I thought I was just doing a regular signing, but they said, hey, these people had to wait a little longer to get your book. 
So it'd be cool if we just you just like go and do something in front of these people. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Enter this room just completely packed with fans. <laughs> I'm awkward, okay? I'm comfortable behind the camera, but like, just entering this room, people screaming, it was crazy. For me, at least. So much happiness and joy in one room, it's so cool. It's the Star Wars premiere, yeah! And then things got weird. <laughs> I remember 2016. I had snails for some reason. Anyone remember that? <laughs> Legendary photo right there. <laughs> I went on cold ad. It's crazy. Also very cool, dude. I was so nervous. God damn it. I wish I had more confidence back then. I would kill it now. Conan, have me back, please. I met Ryan Reynolds in the screen room. He's the only celebrity I've ever asked for a selfie, and I still feel bad afterhand for asking for it. But he was really nice about it. And I did him dirty. Ryan, if you're watching, I'm sorry, I had two photos I could pick from. One where I look good, and one where you look good. But there wasn't one where we both look good, and I did you dirty, I'm sorry. You still look really good though, don't get me wrong. Met Trey Parker! How cool is that? One of my idols! Huge inspiration. I said this before, but Trey Parker, uh, still working on South Park, still keeping things fresh after so many years. I really admire that. I would only hope to have a career like him. So cool. And Matt as well, of course. Went to Japan again for the hundredth time. It's always so fun. I was super into jogging. I would, I, would, I think I would run like miles, 10, 20 kilometers I would run. It was crazy. I don't know what was wrong with me. I could never do that today. But I remember jogging in Tokyo or, or like, if you are into jogging and you go to a different country and you jog in that place, it's such a great way to just see places you wouldn't normally see. And I, I remember I loved that about Tokyo to just run through Tokyo is so cool. How sweet is this? My, so my, da my dad knew I was into jogging. So he came with me when I was in Sweden and he wore the PD Fiber. She's so nice. <laughs> my nephew, legendary photo right there. That was fun. That was really fun. I met so many cool dudes thanks to YouTube. It's crazy. Oh, I met Shadow Lady before. I didn't even realize that. What the fuck? I met Vicstar. I didn't even know that. <laughs> what the, what the fuck? Yeah, hell yeah. Ken flew over to support my man. I can smell it. <laughs> We're close. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> I can smell it. That was crazy. <laughs> I can't believe we did that. I had to jump in the water and swim back to shore, but I was fully clothed with boots. And I was just like, well, I hope I make it. <laughs> Hey, where it all started, the Japanese whiskey. Oh no, don't do it. Damn, so many photos I completely forgot about. This is, uh, Malaysia. Come back, come back, please come back. Malaysia is super cool. What the actual f Hey, launch of Tuber Simulator. The most relevant game of all time. It's still doing really well. It's such a great game. Oh, Slippy. <laughs> Slippy. Remember? Never forget -y. This is Scare PewDiePie Season 2. Rest in peace. Sometimes I have to- I tell people about Scare PewDiePie- what happened in Scare PewDiePie Season 2. <laughs> Just so I feel like I'm not crazy. It happened! I went through all these crazy shit, you don't- <laughs> Like, cause they up- they um, amped it up all the craziness in Season 2. And, uh, it was just wild to go through these insane experiences that I can't have no- I don't even- like, I can't show it. Hey, I met Eli and Ethan. Oh, sweet. Slipey! One of the greatest photos of all time of me. Right there. Another- another greatest photo of all time. Right there. Before I was outlawed, Sony sent me a PlayStation uh, 4. Sony sent me a PlayStation 5, I'm begging you. I wanna play Demon Souls. Hell yeah. While you were busy playing Minecraft, I studied the bleed. I wish I was playing Minecraft. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned. No! <laughs> the water smelled like ass, but it was nice and hot. Yeah, it was sulfur. It was crazy. It was pretty gross. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Here's a strange photo that exists. <laughs> we got doggy or hedgehog. I had the beard. I look weird. Oh, I met with uh, Agretsuko. That was so cool. The series is really good. They came out after. We didn't realize it was going to be big. It was so good. Japan during Cherry Blossom. I think this is Meguro. 
2018, when I finally rediscovered my love for literature, I would bring a book everywhere. Ah, take me back. Take me back. I want to go back. I want to go back. And there it is. Finally tied the knot. Is that the expression? I don't care if it's cringe. I like my own photo. Over a year ago now. I know it's cliche to say, but it really was the happiest day of my life. Actually, I've been posting a fair bit lately, so why don't you follow me over on the Instagram? That was so fun. I can't believe I spent 40 minutes, uncut at least, going through all of that. Sai will cut it down. Sorry, Sai, this will be an awful day. To... <laughs> Thank you for joining me or making this crazy journey that I had. Unbelievable for supporting and watching my videos. Um, that's really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. Hope you enjoyed as well. Look at the graph. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bro fist. We've hosted many celebrations since the launch of this most relevant of games. We looked far and wide to bring you the most up-to-date and interesting topics. But then, there is one subject that we somehow missed. Welcome home, my tuber friends. Every home is different, and love is central to every one of them. It's a theme that is sure to appear in our room events. I look forward to virtually visit your dwellings. 